guys, so it is August 23rd and I am just heading out to Target to get Lover um, by Taylor Swift. I'm so excited. I've honestly been counting down the days since she's announced her album. Like, I've been so excited. Like, oh, something to look forward to and <laughs> clearly I don't have a lot going on in my life. I feel like this is like the like highlight for me for a while. Um, but I am just really, really excited. Like I said, I've been really looking forward to this. And so I'm gonna go head out and get all four deluxe editions from Target. Luckily, we live relatively close to a Target, so it's not that big of a hassle for me. Um, so I'm gonna go there and grab it, and then I'm gonna do like my review. My sister's already started listening to it on Spotify. I'm like, no, I need to listen to it all in one sitting. Um, so we're gonna do that together, and I'll give like many reviews and everything. So maybe Leah will have some reviews too. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm very excited for this. Um, so uh, yeah, and then I also like ordered some things on her website too, which came with a free digital download. And I had like 15 emails, and like not like 15, but like a good six. Um, but I like having like the physical deluxe edition, so uh, that is why. But yeah, I'm excited, um, as you can tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some driving and all of that fun stuff and pick my sister up some Dunkin' Donuts coffee because she likes her coffee. all four editions. Um, I won't open it until I get home just because it's a little bit tricky in my car, but I am so excited. I felt a little um, goofy getting all four, but I got a $5 gift card, which I think <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, that came with it. I guess it was a promotion, but yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to stop by Duncan and then I will be uh, opening these. I'm so excited. Alrighty, so here are the four, as my desktop is booting up, so I got four, three, two, and then one, so I'm really excited. Um, I need to like open them and transfer them over, but I'm going to just like transfer one over and then just do like the deluxe editions, like the voice memo, so um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of listen to this and then me and my sister are going to listen to it together. She's already listened to it or like parts of the songs, but it will be fun. Are you ready? You ready? Are you ready? I think you are. Are you excited? I'm excited? We've been waiting for this all summer. We have. We have. Yes. <coughs> oh yeah, warming up those <coughs> vocal cords. You ready to sing? Are you ready, Leah? Yay! <coughs> Yay! <laughs> Alrighty. We nice. are ready. We're ready. We're ready. a little bit after four now I just had or I just came back from my goodbye lunch um, from my school um, so I got to li listen to the album a second time so me and my sister listened to it the first time together um, as you guys saw um, but she said I'm just pulling up the track list here she says her favorites are you need to calm down and it's nice to have a friend um, right now like in my um, kind of first impressions like these are my top five the archer Paper Ranks, Cornelia Street, 
soon you'll get better and daylight those ones are kind of my favorites so far but I think like I'll do my kind of full review of it a little bit later um, but in the meantime I'm just gonna go through all these little journal entries I've been seeing snippets of some of the stuff in here um, on like Instagram and all that so I'm very interested to kind of read these I know there's the full lyrics to all too well which I'm really excited about um, but I think I'm gonna listen to it one more time just been reading through the journal entries and I noticed in um, the deluxe edition like the second one um, there is this one art like entry that was from let's see March 2012 and so I thought this was really interesting but she's like I've been thinking a lot about getting older and how all my heroes have ended up all alone and I think that's really interesting because it relates back to the Archer lyrics where she's like and all my heroes die alone so I thought that's very interesting like I don't know if that was she probably intentionally put that in but I think that is just interesting how it's something like she wrote there and it's showing up like eight years later basically <laughs> like seven years later afterwards so it's very interesting um just all that so I've been really loving these journal articles or like her diary entries I think the, like this is probably of her all deluxe editions. I really like these. I think these are like this has been my favorite Alrighty guys, so I had three days to kind of like listen to this album immerse myself in this lover World and so I've kind of had a good kind of wrap up with everything um, So I'm just gonna kind of go over like what I really loved about this album like the two like there was only like two songs that I didn't really enjoy that much and like kind of like my top five um so like overall i feel like in terms of an album like collectively i feel in terms of the sound it is the most kind of cohesive and kind of like it was all kind of like within the same sound and like if you look at it like her other works like especially like red it was kind of like all over the place in terms of the sound um but i feel like this one was very cohesive and just the general like overall sound the album so I really liked that um, I love how there's so like there's 18 tracks in here I loved it and I love how the deluxe editions also have the journal entries I've sat like read through them all and I feel like it makes kind of her journey more personable like she is very honest in her lyrics but in especially kind of seeing her self-doubts like her um, like like criticism her fears of herself I think is really um like it she it makes her more human if that makes sense um but yeah like I really love these so of course I had to get all four um but yeah I really love having that aspect kind of thrown in here and kind of making it special and kind of learning more about her journey and like there are things in here that kind of um like you could like know at certain points like oh this album and like she was working on this song so I thought that was really neat I think the only two songs on here that I don't like that much are me and false god like I like me like when she released it I was just excited because there's a new Taylor Swift song coming out um so I was like but it wasn't like my favorite and then like I knew with her signal singles that she's released like the first one is usually kind of misleading in terms of how the other ones are um, kind of like are misleading for the rest of the album so I was like okay lover is gonna be okay um, and then false god like it's just like man it's like very forgettable I kind of how I see it um, but yeah kind of like my top five Overall, I would have to say it is The Archer, Paper Rings, Cornelia Street, Soon You'll Get Better, and um, Daylight. I feel like the Soon You'll Get Better song is really heartbreaking, especially last year, last August, when my grandmother passed away from cancer. I could relate to a lot of the lyrics in here. Like, she was first diagnosed in um, 2016. She was in remission and then came back in 2018 and then she passed away from that. So a lot of like kind of that, like those emotions I feel really tr 
translate a lot in that song and especially with the harmonies with the Dixie Chicks like I grew up listening to the Dixie Chicks if you like if I go back and look at home videos from when I, when I was like three four like you can hear the Dixie Chicks in the background so I really like that and it had just such a very calming melody the archer is just very vulnerable in the fur like fur and soon you'll get better like I had tears in my eyes and now even now listening to it I do get a little uh choked up because it is a very personal song for me like with my experience the archer I did get teary-eyed the first time I listened to it too I feel like it's um it's a very intelligent song in terms of the lyrics and I think that's what makes it um very personable I've really liked that part I think the lyrics are very clever um, and a lot of like that self-doubt not like not feeling like you're worth being loved I think a lot of people can relate to I really loved um, paper rings I really like the rhythm sorry that was Tucker um, I really like the rhythm in it I really think it's just a cute song and it's just really cute I really love Cornelia Street like that one is just really cute and I noticed a lot of the songs that I enjoyed the most were the ones that Taylor wrote herself um, so I think that's also meaningful as well like she also wrote Daylight and Lover which is also a favorite but not my top five um, but I really like that one I think it's just a cute love story and we can tell like it was meaningful for her to write because you can see a lot of parallels with her journal entries and then also kind of with the lyrics of that one and then also daylight i feel like it's just a really good conclusion to the not like the, the album overall just the message and i really love the lyrics step into the daylight and let it go um that was something like she released when she did that um i forget which like magazine but i saw in there i'm like that's probably going to be like a lyric um but i like it i think it's just a has a really good meaning and i like how she ties in some of like her past lyrics in there as well um i also really liked oh kind of going back to cornelia street it kind of like the melody kind of and harmony feels a lot like invisible from her first album so if you caught that like let me know what you think because i was like wait a second um but overall, I think this is definitely going to be within my top three Taylor Swift albums of all time. Like, it definitely fluctuates in terms of, like, what's going on in my life, like, the moods and all that. Like, I think All Too Well is, like, one of her best songs ever, but, like, definitely this is, like, right now this is, like, my favorite, but it, I feel like my favorite albums are Fearless, 1989, and this one. Um, so it just kind of depends what mood I'm in, but this is definitely, I feel like, for her writing this one, I feel like there, she there was no agenda, like reputation, and like she didn't have like the expectations to like be better than like 1989. Like she didn't have like that expectation to be better than what she is, and I feel like she was just writing for herself, writing for the fans, and I feel like that's what makes this album really fun and unique. And she's kind of letting go of everything, her expectations, kind of her agendas, and all that. Like there wasn't like anything kind of holding her back on this one and she was just free to kind of be like free to make this album whatever she wants it to be um so yeah i hope you guys kind of enjoyed this vlog experience um of this um but yeah let me know in the comments below what your favorite lover songs are and all that so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time Bye, guys.